Hey, Josh Paisley here with Lincoln Chrome. I uh, just wanted to go through a few things today with some visors. We get a ton of calls on how to install these or what's the best practices to do. So I figured we'd spend some time today just going through a few little tricks of the traits to get some of these put on a nice little Kenworth here. See, and hopefully that uh, steers you guys in the right direction to be able to get this stuff installed. All right, so we send a few things with these visors. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put these nut kits in here with the swell nut. Um, the reason the swell nuts are in there is just because of the fact that not everybody has a nice little tool to be able to use to put the rib nut in. Recommend using a rib nut. Uh, these swell nuts are great. They're good for center caps and different things like that, but uh, I don't use them on an installs. Uh, I definitely don't recommend them, but it's a nice little thing to have out there. Uh, one thing we're going to use today is it's called a plus nut. It makes it so you don't have to have the tool. Uh, once you go ahead and start tightening it down, it swells out kind of like a drywall anchor, but it's a heck of a lot beefier and it's a way easier to use. So that's a nice little thing right there and we'll use these today on, on today's install. Alright, so first thing we did is we pulled this mirror bracket off. Uh, we took the three holes out that were holding the mirror bracket in. Uh, in order to drop these in, we're going to have to drill these holes to a 3 16th, make it a little bit bigger so everything flows through there. Um, the next thing we really want to make sure is we're not drilling too many holes in the side of the truck. So after we got this pulled off, we take the visor, we piece the visor completely together. It's two separate pieces, but you want to assemble it together on the center point and make it one piece. Then at that point, you need somebody else to help you hold it up because otherwise you're going to scuff the side of the truck, scratch your paint or so on like that. You can lay some painter's tape and everything else, but if you slip or slide, it's going right through that painter's tape and scratching the truck. So you don't, don't necessarily want to do it. Two people's nice to have, a third's also great. So uh, I recommend using another person just in case. Uh, but we'll hold it up, make sure everything lines up. And then at that point, we'll start dropping these in there and, and get everything squared away and put on. All right, so one thing on these Kenworths, we get a lot of questions of why there's big holes like this on here. Uh, the reason being, is there's a rivet on the center cap typically on some of the older models and we wanted to make sure this lined up with the rivet. The rivet's not held into a tight spec so this hole would absorb any of the difference of where it's placed at. And so you drill that rivet out and then you're able to put a bolt through there, put a swell knot or whatever that we talked about using uh, on the install and then just run a big washer on this side to tighten it all down. So you just put a big washer and you won't have any problems whatsoever and it'll suck it to the top of the truck and hold it nice and tight. Make sure you don't get any vibrating going down the road. And that's essentially why these are built on to the visor versus other people having separate brackets and so on like that. This will hold it tight and secure and eliminate any shaking going down the road. All right, so we put one of the Riv Pluses in there. Uh, we're gonna use this bracket and as referenced earlier, you wanna make sure you got this washer on there. If you don't use the washer, it's gonna seize up and you're gonna have problems getting it off. Uh, the other thing is, is don't just sit there and crank on it. You'll feel when it sucks into the truck and everything else. If you sit there and push too hard on it, you're going to strip it out and then you're going to have to drill the thing out and start over. One thing is, is we're getting ready to put the visor onto the truck here. So we got all those installed. The rib pluses are there and set to go. Before we want to put these on the truck, you want to make sure you use anti-seize. Uh, these are stainless steel. You don't want to seize up on you and then you'll have to cut the bolt out, drill it back out, put a bigger hole. It's a pain, more risk and everything else comes with the leaking of the truck. So make sure you use the anti-seize and just go ahead and coat the boat with it and you're sitting pretty. All right, so we got it on the truck. Uh, we don't have everything tightened down 100% yet, but we want to make sure everything's looking pretty. Uh, I came in, so we'll go back to where we started with. We made sure to hold it up first before we drilled any holes out. Uh, then we came in and took these side brackets off. So we took those three holes out and then we came in and dropped our uh, rib nuts or whatever you decide to use in back in so we could reattach it there. And uh, this visor is a shorty, so we only had to put two more back in on the visor. If you did a little bit of a deeper one, there's going to be an additional hole here that you have to install it on. And then it goes back behind this bracket and installs here. So you just have two more holes. It sits a little bit deeper. Uh, this one's a 10 by six, but we make a 13 by nine and a 13 all the way across. Uh, and then at that point, we'll just go ahead and tighten everything down. Uh, we referenced making sure to utilize the anti-seize on the bolts because otherwise, once you start tightening it down, if you get it kind of stuck or whatever, and you try to back it off, it's seized in there. So make sure you utilize that. And overall, uh, we'll come in, clean it up, make sure it looks pretty, and then we'll close it all out and get it out of here.